All right, so what's up everyone? Today's the 21st of December. We're going to talk about PayPal, give you all a price prediction update in the market of PayPal. You guys can see since we did our last video for this stock that the market has gone in the direction in which we anticipated. And not only that, the market has actually taken out a couple of sell zones that we're going to freshen up this chart and see if the market and PayPal is still going to go higher. So let's go ahead and get rid of this sell zone here because the buyers took that area out. They also took this sell zone out the way up there around $62, $63. And you guys can see how far our price prediction by we're this over to the right a little bit. They almost came shy of hitting the lower end sell zone right there on December the 14th. Okay. So if you were to gather market at the high of December the 14th, that would have harnessed or garnered you around seven and a half percent. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut this price prediction out the way. You guys can also see real quick, the trend is still applicable. The price action in PayPal hasn't broken our trend line, so that is still valid. First thing I'm gonna do, let me extend this over just a little bit lower. Okay, now, let me show you something though. This area here is now a sell zone, okay? You can see every time PayPal runs to $64, what happens? We, it's, we saw it here on the 14th, and then we saw it again on yesterday. The selling increases, and the market ends up closing on the low end of those daily price bars. So I think we know where the first problem is for the buyers now. It's right within the sell zone. So it's not up here at $64, $65 now. It's not there yet. So if PayPal is going to continue to go higher, they would have to take these sellers out the way right there. Here's PayPal on the two day chart. I think this looks a little bit cleaner to confirm that, yeah, selling every time the market runs to this area, it, it goes down. Look at the two day part right there, this last printed one. The market went up and it ended on the very bottom. There's still some selling going on in the market at PayPal there. Here it is on the three. PayPal on the five. Nine hours and four minutes left on this current five-day bar. It's going to be important on how it prints. Here it is on the weekly. PayPal on the two weeks. Three. Here it is on the monthly chart. Okay, so what do you think? Is the market running out of gas? PayPal on the one hour chart. Okay, a little bit cleaner. You guys can simply tell, yeah, we're just consolidating right now. So we have a little bit, I think we may have a, a short time to actually determine if those buyers are still in the market in PayPal. Here's one 30 minute chart. So we know where the sellers are. They're up there. Buyers in the market in PayPal, they need to hold this area right here. Okay. Just keeping it real. If we don't see these buyers in this zone hold price, PayPal will continue to go lower. You guys can see that they were successful right here on this 330 minute bar. They came and bought. So whoever bought on these 330 minute bars also bought on that one. So it's a pretty tight battle. I mean, you guys can see how close these zones are between one another, between the sellers and the buyers. You can see how close they are. It's gonna be hard to see which one is gonna win. Here it is on the three hour chart. I don't like that. Yeah, we are seeing pre-market and market and PayPal run higher, but a lot of these time frames, you can see how powerful, you know, the selling is and how weak the market is becoming in PayPal. So I don't want you all to get fooled off of this current pre-market price in PayPal. Because I really see it on a daily time frame, especially on the two-day chart, that this market in PayPal is still weak. It's showing, it's exhibiting a lot of weakness right now. Okay, 
so I'm done I think we're gonna play some weakness into the market in PayPal I'm not gonna be extremely weak right now though because I really want to see if these buyers are determined to buy because if they are then the price won't go below this buy zone if they aren't the next target for us to see price go down the PayPal is around 60 okay so let me go ahead and put this on a chart first target is within this buy zone I know but it's, it's not a lot but I want us to understand we need to learn how to pinpoint at least be as accurate as possible as to where the market is headed that could be 1.1 destination that the buyers can run to and hold the market if they're going to do that then we need to jump ship because it's not going to go to lower 1.1.51 percent there my second target though will be around 62.77 percent and then my third target be like around four fifty eight dollars and fifty cents, five point three percent there. So, like I said, I'm not massive, massively bearish or weak. I just want to see how low the price is going to go, and if these buyers are going to be determined later on to see if they're going to break these sell zones up here at the top. Okay. So let's see how low the market's going to go first. And if they don't let the price go too low, then these upper sales zones are going to be targeted next. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain your profitability. And as always, trade different.